Hey kids, welcome back to Creativity with Mr. B. Every time we're together, I'll show you a skill, then you'll practice that skill and create on your own. I'm excited about what we can create together. Some art projects are tied to learning targets or objectives or to art history pieces, but today is all about igniting your imagination and your own unique sense of creativity. Today is all about dragons. Why dragons? Because dragons are awesome. Dragons show up all the time in TV, movies, and books. What are some of your favorite dragon stories? Pause the video and share. This is a super fun project that I originally saw on a blog called Pink Stripey Socks. What drew me to the project was the adorable and illustrative style of the dragon details. There's a link to the blog in the description of this video. Today, we'll mainly use shape, line, and color to make our paper plate dragons. Before we do dragons, let's talk materials. We're gonna make our paper plate dragons out of a few things from around the house and a few art supplies. Let's take a look. So you'll need a paper plate. The cheaper, the better. You'll probably end up cutting away a lot of the plate anyway. If you can't find a paper plate, go ahead and use a normal heavy sheet of paper or painted paper, or even a piece of recycling will work for this. You'll need a pencil and an eraser. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut out your dragon parts. And you'll need something to add color with, like crayons, markers, or paint. I like to use a permanent marker. And you'll also need something to connect your dragon parts, like glue or a stapler. First, fold your paper in half, hamburger style. And for the drawing steps, we're gonna have several, so I'll just break them down one by one. First, on that folded edge, you're gonna draw a wide semicircle for the dragon's body, almost from side to side. Then, you're gonna draw a large curved line up and over for the top of the dragon's wings. For the bottom of the wings, it's gonna be a series of curved, like scooped lines for webbed wings. Head and the tail are made with the same shape. They're kind of two parallel lines that curve together. Uh, my head will have kind of like a beak on one side and two horns that pop out of the top. And for the tail, again, draw two parallel lines that curve. And my tail is going to have kind of like an arrow pointy like tail for the tip of it. Next, cut out all of your dragon parts. Ask an adult or an older sibling if you need help. Next, you wanna make sure to add color and to decorate all sides of your dragon. Technically, this is kind of a sculptural piece. You're meant to look at it from all angles, so make sure you decorate all the sides of your dragon. I like to add these fun little like curvy semicircle lines to be scales on the sides of my dragon. I put more towards the bottom of every shape to give it kind of like a shading. Now fold down your wings right where they attach to the body, like a paper airplane. So you have to flip it over and fold the other wing too. Now the last step is to attach your head and tail to the body. If you're using glue, you can just run some glue in the middle of that body and put the head and tail in place and just pinch and hold those for a couple of minutes until the glue sets. If you're using a stapler, you can do the same thing but then put uh, one staple in the front and one staple near the tail.
and we're done. I hope you had fun today making these dynamic dragons. Make sure to share what you've made with your teachers, your family, and your friends, and I'll see you back here next time on Creativity with Mr. B.